Hello guys, it's Travel here and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be reacting to some finance TikToks as my channel is all about personal finance. I'm like a personal finance geek. I'm going to be reacting to some other people's videos about personal finance, like stocks and everything. So let's get into it. This is what index fund gurus don't tell you about index funds that make me so angry. After I grew my investment portfolio from 500 bucks to millions of dollars, I decided to listen to one of the index fund gurus that popped onto my social media. And I'm like, you know what? Let me add an index fund to my portfolio. Do you want to see? the results and the difference between individual stocks and index fund. If you just spend a little bit more time, a little bit, we're talking about one hour per week. This is how your results can be different. Watch. Here's my $4 million portfolio. Look at the gains here on individual stocks starting from 200% until we finally get to VU here which is way lower than my top performing stocks that are basically carrying my entire $4.7 million portfolio. And I do it all in only one hour per month, even though I'm super busy and not a math whiz. Following my simple five-step diamond system. Comment diamond, I'll send you my free masterclass on it. And there it is, folks. All you have to do to freaking beat the market over the next 30 to 40 years is follow her freaking stupid five steps and you're going to outperform everybody. So when it comes to index funds, the whole point of it is not to like outperform anybody. All you're doing is that you're trying to match the broader market's return. So it really depends on what kind of index fund that you're buying. Myself, it's VT, so I own the entire world of market cap weights. I'm not here to like outperform anyone. My total return is basically just going to be related to the entire growth of the global economy over the next 30 to 40 years basically up until i retire and i'm still going to own vt in retirement because obviously when happy allocation of stocks and bonds you can't just go all into bonds because you're going to be retired for a while but when you're buying an index fund you're not expecting like massive returns of like 25 percent compounded for the next 30 years you're getting like i said the entire broader market's return when it comes to individual stocks or like an individual country there will always be something that will outperform an index fund there's absolutely a freaking guarantee when it comes to that because you know some company right now it's got maybe a hundred million dollar market cap it could grow into a trillion dollars over the next 30 years and obviously that will outperform index fund but the question is finding those specific stocks and consistently beating the market like i said over the next 30 to 40 years the chances of her doing that i absolutely highly doubt that one has literally done it consistently over like the last 60 years when it comes to his long-term returns but this is one guy out of freaking billions of people but the chances of you picking the right stocks over the long term and outperforming the market is basically next to nothing that's why you should be getting an index fund just to match the market returns instead of trying to beat the market just become the market and the chances of you beating the market with only doing one hour of work per week is just basically impossible i don't make eight figures in crypto yeah. in the next couple of years there's a problem the big problem that I had in the last bull run was that I wasn't prepared. In 2017, I got burned and I'm like, oh, this sucks. And then by the time 2020 hit, you know, Bitcoin was back and it was 20K, 30K. I was like, oh man, why didn't I buy it at 3K? Yep. I wasn't prepared. And then now that I have like almost eight years of, you know, experience yeah. in it, I'm like, okay, dude, this next one, I'm gonna kill it. Crypto is the middle class's answer to be able to compete on a playing field that they don't have any other chance of ever competing. Against. The middle class is never going to get rich from stocks. No, they're, they're never. It's absolutely impossible. But I can really confidently say that if somebody buys Bitcoin today, within the next 18 months, you're going to be able to sell that for three times as much money. I agree. My God, I hate cryptocurrency so much. I just can't wait for this thing to freaking die. I don't really want to say much. I just, I can't stand crypto. It's so freaking annoying. But also the point we made like, oh, I have eight years of experience now. You have eight years of experience of just straight gambling. There's nothing like underlying when it comes to crypto. It's all fundamentally worthless. There's no analysis that you can do on it. You're just straight gambling and all that experience. It's just a bunch of crap. New details have been released about the alleged crypto king from Ontario who was driving Lamborghinis and boating on a multi-level yacht from scamming investors out of millions. Adam Poturski ended up owning 11 luxury vehicles and rented a waterfront mansion for $45,000 per month and owned five or six watches valued at $400,000. The 23-year-old from Whitby scammed investors so he could live a rich lifestyle, but now he owes at least $35 million. And once again, we've got another crypto scam here. Anybody who gave this guy their freaking money because he made like some kind of like tiny return in crypto and like showed his returns is like, hey, I can do the same thing for you guys. You're all a bunch of freaking idiots. You gave your money to him freaking volunteer. Voluntarily. If you lost money with this moron, that's your own fault. And I think this is like the correct story that I'm thinking about because this was like a couple years ago. I think this guy got kidnapped and he was held captive for like a few days and he was just getting the absolute crap beaten out of him. And the guy who captured him was like, yo, just give me back my money and I'll like let you go and all that stuff. And he's like, oh, okay, I'll give you back your money. Just let me go and I'll give you your money. So the guy let him go and then he just ran to the cops and ratted him out. So now the guy who actually captured him, I think he went to jail. I'm not 100% sure. But the guy who captured him, he gave him $700,000 if I remember correctly to like do like this whole crypto crap and thought he was going to like freaking 100 his money but yeah if you gave this guy money you're just an absolute freaking moron i mean oh my god the guy's 23 years old like you give me a 23 year old freaking millions of dollars and you think he's gonna freaking just quadruple exit in the freaking crypto market like he literally took all that money to live the highlight for like a couple years and now he like went to jail if you gave him your money you're just a special kind of stupid here's three stocks under ten dollars that have an attractive dividend first company is nordic american tankers 
They're an oil tanker company. They make their money by transporting large volumes of oil. Earlier this year, they reported that they made a little over $39,000 per day per ship. They own 19 ships, and that's the largest that they've seen in the company's 28-year history. Second company is Kenross Gold. This could be a good play with gold on the rise, and a lot of experts have gold hitting new all-time highs next year, so this stock could play out well. Third stock is Aegon. This company offers insurance, pensions, and retirement services and has a yield of 5.2%. Their free cash flow is expected to hit 800 million euros by 2025. So as that free cash flow expands, you could definitely see some dividend hikes as well. Okay, so the problem that I have with this video is that when it comes to like the nominal stock price, it is completely irrelevant. Yeah, the stock could be like $10 a share, but it does not mean that it's cheap. All that matters is the freaking market cap and the shares outstanding because there could be a company out there with a trillion dollar market cap and have like a $15 stock price. It's all like completely irrelevant. So just because you're buying a stock that has like a nice dividend deal that's under $10 doesn't mean like it's a screaming buy. Sure, it's like more accessible for smaller investors to get some shares because it's only like five ten dollars a share i get that part but it doesn't mean that it's an overall like cheap stock because it's under 10 bucks a share and also my problem with this video as well is that it seemed like very short term focused like when it comes to like the overall like investment thesis so you're not going to be holding these companies over the long term to get that dividend yield over the next 10 15 20 years so definitely take that with a grain of salt when it comes to these stocks yes they might be cheap because of, you know ten dollars a share and under but it doesn't mean that the company is screaming by and also another problem i have with people just dividend chasing just because a uh, stock pays a dividend doesn't mean that's an automatic buy there could be other companies out there that are less than 10 dollars per share even though like i said that's completely irrelevant that pay no dividend and it could have like an absolutely fantastic future and definitely outperform all these like dividend stocks that he's recommending anybody who's in ffie guys this is a really good clear message for you okay first stop looking at the price what happened today what happened yesterday guys these are wins we have to look at this as great days i know a lot of you guys are you know discouraged by the lack of price the lack of you know action and volume but you guys just need to stop and relax. Okay, this is the play. The play is holding the stock above a dollar. Okay, guys, the hedge funds want our short attention ape brains to back out of this. They want us to fold out of boredom. So guys, don't worry. Don't get upset. If you guys think today was a bad day, guys, I'm going to just tell you, you guys are soft. If today was a bad day, guys today was a great day okay so if you don't know what ffie is it's pretty much this ev company that was like heavily shorted and there's like a massive short squeeze in like may the company went from like two cents a share all the way up to three dollars which is just an absolutely just outstanding massive 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 return just an absolute massive pump now when it comes to that though a lot of people bought it when it was like a dollar two dollars three dollars trying to you know cash the rise and like you know make a lot of money when it comes to this company though it is fundamentally worthless and it's just a freaking piece of garbage there's a reason why this company was shorted and like 95 percent of the shares were uh, shorted in general because this company is a freaking turd and she'll go bankrupt i already talked about ffie in a video recently so you can check that out but my god this company is just absolute garbage and a lot of people who you know are buying the stock and everything they're trying to keep their cool and like level-headed by listening to a bunch of people people on tiktok who have no idea what they're talking about pretty much this guy's like you know don't worry guys we'll get our short squeeze it's gonna you know go to like ten dollars a share we're gonna be like trillionaires and all that crap so a lot of people watch these videos he's not the only guy who's making videos about ffie a lot of people are still making content about it even though the short squeeze happened like two months ago a lot of people who bought it like i said at over a dollar per share they're all just begging and just praying for another short squeeze to try and get bailed out because the stock has just absolutely collapsed since then so when it comes to performance chasing and all this garbage stay away from these freaking stocks and a lot of people are trying to justify their buying of ffie now because they're down so much they're like oh it's an ev company so it's the future i'm gonna make my money back this company is a freaking turd they've lost freaking millions upon millions of dollars they they're burning cash right now as we speak Alrighty, guys that's basically going to be the end of today's video hope you guys enjoyed if you did leave a like down below definitely watch out when you're on tiktok listening to like these freaking clowns i have no idea what they're talking about definitely take it all with a grain of salt you know not financial advice but if you just buy an index fund and hold it for the long term for retirement you'll most likely do fine even though it's not a guarantee you'll do better than the vast majority of uh, retail investors so like and subscribe guys and i'll see you guys in the next video